these requests keep and questions keep coming and this time we have one from official Fasic about how to count AI kills toward your game points in the same way that player kills are counted. What if I told you that this script uses four nodes and that's it? And assuming you already have your spawner set up the way you want, and if you need help with that, I've got tutorials to help, then it is by far the most simple and straightforward tutorial I've made so far. So let's roll out and get to making this thing happen. This Okay, so to start this, I'm going to clear up this little bit of stuff, because we don't even need it. There we go. Okay, so to start, all we need to do is throw down one of our AI spawners, which I'm going to pretty much be cut and dry on this one and just say I'm going to speed through it all since I've already gotten plenty of tutorials out now that shows you pretty much what you need. Just keep in mind to make sure that you can spawn it from an AI spawner. Okay, now we have our AI spawner. Let's go ahead and create a script brain to make it endlessly spawn. I'm going to use my one of my previous tutorials. I'm going to use its spawning method. So that way this grunt that I'm going to spawn is just going to keep spawning over and over again. So I'm going to speed through this. If you want to know what that spawning method is, I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description so you can go ahead and watch that tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and, and speed this up and, and get this whole thing set up and so we can get this rolling. Okay, now we have him rigged up to where we can make sure he just respawns every time. Alright, killed him. One second passes, he spawns again, we're good. Okay, now here comes the good part. Then place another script brain right about here, and I'm telling you this is probably the shortest tutorial I'm going to have on this channel, very likely, because it's that simple. We go to game mode, and we go to adjust team points, we're going to grab that node. And then the event is going to be events AI on AI unit kill. And this will work for any AI on the map. So even though I only have one spawner right now, if I had 13 spawners, every unit that is spawned on those would contribute toward this because it's on AI unit killed and it's kind of left blank here. So it, it's universal. It counts any AI on the map that are killed. So we're going to go ahead and place that there. And, and connect these two. The only thing we have is we need to make the team. We need to figure out what team needs to add that score. So we go down here to variables advanced and we grab a declare team variable. The identifier, we're just going to name it team one and change that to team one eagle. The scope is local. And uh, now we get down here and we get team variable from the same tab. Connect team to team and adjust the identifier. Make sure it says team one to match the uh, identifier up there with the declare, set it to local. And lastly, we adjust team points with this and we adjust it by one. There we go. So what this does is now every time you kill an AI unit, your score toward the game, like let's say um, you're in Slayer and you kill an AI, that is now going to count sim the exact same way that a player kill would count. It just it won't add onto your kills. It'll just it'll still say you have zero for everything, but your team score will have at one added onto it for every kill that you get. Now, if you want to do this for multiple teams, all you would have to do is duplicate this basically yeah you'd have to duplicate the whole thing for each team move this over here except this time we use this and change this to team 2 and then change it to team 2 make sure everything else matches that which all you have to do is change these two and that's it name this team 2 and there you go. Now, even if you're on team one and you kill an AI, then you will get a point 
if you're on team two and you kill an AI, then you get a point and you repeat this up to the amount of teams that you have in your game mode or up to the maximum, which I think is eight. And that's it. Now all we have to do is test it. We can't test it in forge mode, unfortunately, because the way that running the script works, it doesn't show your points. So I, if I was to press uh, the options button, then it wouldn't show my points. It would simply take me back to monitor mode. So what we're gonna do to test this out is I'm gonna load up a game of Slayer by myself and just, uh, and then I'm gonna check the team score every time I get a kill and to make sure everything works. Okay, so the game has started. There's a grunt. You see we have zero points currently. And I've changed no settings. This is base Slayer. I've changed not a single bit of the settings. We have one point. We started with zero. Let's kill him again. Ha! There we go. Two. Kill him again. We have three. Notice my score over there doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't have any pills, any assists, nothing. But our score down there at the bottom is increasing every time we get an AI kill. So it works. What's neat about this is you don't have to just increase the score by one. You can have it set to any whole number up to a really high amount if you want to. So if you want to, for example, set an AI to something like 10, so while players are set to something like 50, then all you have to do is change the score adjustment on the adjust team score node to 10 or whatever else you want. The player kill score, I believe, is set by the game mode setting. So that's not really a forge thing. Well, that's the end of this one. Like I said, it really wasn't long and was extremely simple to get set up. So keep those comments coming and I'll try to do my best to keep the tutorials coming.